Master of Puppets, you heard it from the intro, such a classic riff, and yes, you can play it with one finger. Is it hard? Oh yes, but you can definitely do it. So dive on in, grab your electric guitar, make sure there's lots and lots of distortion, and let's do it. So what you want to start off, the very start of the song starts off with a big chunky E power chord. That's the first chord you hear. So you can do that with one finger, you have your first finger all the way up, seventh, fret on the fifth string and you want to play the open sixth string and the fifth string as well. That's the first chord. Then you use same string, you go back to the fifth fret and you play the fifth fret, fourth fret, third fret. If you can, play that as a power chord. One more time. Once you've done that, that's sort of where the loop of the song, the intro sort of begins. So to come back and you want to be palm muting forever, down picking and palm muting. So you have your palm, the thick part of your wrist, resting on those strings. So it gets that sound instead of an open sound. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to play palm muted thick E string twice, then seventh fret on the fifth string, then palm meter twice, sixth fret, then palm meter twice. So let's do that again. And if you can, try not to palm mute that seventh and sixth fret. Okay. And then back to your fifth fret, fourth fret, third fret. So that part again. So that part again, and then doing the second part as power chords, excellent. Okay, now the trickiest part of the song, again, palm muting every open, is you want to palm mute twice, open, E string, then 7th fret, then palm mute twice, 6th, twice, 5th fret. Then once you've done that, you only palm mute open once for the following notes. So open E, then fourth fret, then open, then third, then second, then open. So open twice, let's do that again. Seventh, sixth, fifth, then one, fourth, one, three, one, two. That's what gives it that sort of falling down the stairs, sort of descending sort of feel. One more time. And remember, try and sort of move your palm up so that when you're actually playing the notes, you're not palm muting those ones. Just exaggerating my hand, but hopefully you could see that. Once you've done that, you actually make this loop and you play it four times. When you can, I would suggest playing power chords to so that opening start. But that's it, 